Welcome back, YouTube. Hope you guys are doing phenomenal. Everything's going well over here. I wanted to come in on Subsidy Did You Know Part Two. So there's been a lot of back and forth about subsidies. Should you level them? What about refunds on your sub generals on the armor that they have? If you're pumping out access, are you putting any effort into to refining? I, I talked about this a little bit on the previous video. If you have not seen the urgent subsidy video, definitely take a take a backtrack, like and subscribe. That way you wouldn't have missed it. But this is part two. Ah, looks like I got all golds here, right? Uh, just kidding. Got a purple. I don't know if I can justify the 2.5 million gems to bring that bad boy up to gold, but not right now, maybe down the road. Um, but as you can see here, the levels on my subsidies, I, I put a little bit of effort into my main one. So it's level 28, just using like some construction speed ups when uh, the event rolls around. You can see 23, 22, 22, 21, 20, 20, 14, and 22. So obviously this is the, the newest edition. As you can see here, I'm a, a comic or Marvel fan. So I named my sub cities after like iconic cities from comic books, which I think is pretty common. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you're rocking with when it comes to what you're naming your sub cities. I think I'm going to change mine. I think this is too generic, but I haven't put a lot of thought into it, but I'll come up with something different. So it's not played out, if you will. Extra points if you can tell me what all these cities come from. <laughs> Alrighty. So back to the tutorial now. So let's take a look here. When you raise the level of your subsidy, it gives you access to different tier troops, right? So I got T11s going on in my main subsidy. Level 23 is going to be pumping out, you know, T9s. And then as you go down to like 14, you know, we got some T5s here, right? So as you guys know, depending on how active you are and I'm, I'm pretty active, I'm really aggressive. Like, you know, when I can, I'm doing two battlefields a week. I'm participating in SVS, you know, every other weekend. So my, my troop totals, I mean, they're, they're never in abundance, right? They're always, you know, pretty low. And as you're aware from the last video that, you know, when you have a couple attack loss, your subsidy troops are going to be dwindled down, you know, pretty far. You can combat that with like doing subsidy tech uh, in the academy, but you know if, if you're a bigger player or you're just doing multiple attacks, there's a, a high probability that you could in fact run out of subsidy troops. So I know there's you know there's a handful of players that I know that like they have 35 subsidies. Not putting a lot of thought into it, I raised mine to 28. Would I do all 35 subsidies? And my this is my philosophy. The answer is no. And I'm even kind of kicking myself in the butt here on like raising this to 28. So in any type of like competitive event, right? It could be like All-Stars. It could be like BOC or like say Shalons coming up. If anybody's going for like the bigger like Alliance City, if you didn't get it already, you know, you're going to be pretty active at attacking. And the downside to having a higher keep level is that the higher tier troops that you have is the longer the timer. You know, it's a way, I don't know the exact percentages or like timing on a T5 to a T11, but it can range, you know, anywhere between like, you know, three minutes up until like 11 or 12 minutes. And that's going to depend on, as you can see here, the percentages that you have on your training speed, which this these values here come from tech and also the, the refines if you put them on your Acumena day sets. And that's the only two things that you can go for on your sub mayor, right? They've got access on them. You can do like attack percentages and HP and defense. Or you can do like subsidy training speed which you can put on four of the pieces. Two of the pieces, you can only do the training capacity. The training capacity as well is also going to dictate like 
what your gem cost is going to be to like heal these troops instantly and in all stars and then like red wing pushes and things of that nature this is going to be really important so let's take a look at this so on a you know a level 28 subsidy with t11s it's seventy three thousand gems i don't even know what k35 or not k35 but a 35 subsidy like instant train costs would be um i i'm sure there's other players the only one that i know for sure that has it is sir philip um, I did talk to him. He's going to be on the channel. I don't know exactly when, so, you know, we'll ask him. But obviously, it's going to be more than 73,000. But even at 73K on level 28, right? If I had all level 28 subsidies, you know, let's just say it's 70K and you got nine subs, you know, that's, you know, over 600,000 gems, you know, just to do a fully, you know, heal all your subsidy troops after they get wiped and they can get wiped so you know that's you know level 28 is going to be you know let's say 73k gems and let's just go down to like level 20 let's see the difference here Thirteen thousand gems so even i mean that's that's a big difference i mean it's going to vary depending on the troops here but just to get a sense of it right and then 14 is 2700 gems for like a red wing push or all stars i mean you may even want to like drop your subsidies just to drop them down to level one um just that way you know and you can instant train them that way uh you know the cost is like really really minimal um i had that thought i never actually committed to it just because you know over time you do want them to grow but this is more like do you want to actually focus on growing them like do you want to like invest speed ups you know to accomplish this so understand that if you got all K30, if you got all 35 subsidies, I mean, you're looking at, whew, I mean, let's just, you know, take a stab at it, right? And say that level, so level 28, 73,000, let's say, you know, 35 subsidies is even, you know, 100K, which is, it's going to be more than that, you know, but that's 900,000 gems. So, you know, let's just say that you send out, you know, three archer marches, right? Like say in BOC or, or let's just say you send a ground a ground hit that that you have an attack lost or you know you have a cab march that you have an attack lost, you know you got three of those and then boom like your subsidy troops are going to be down, you know, to none or very little, and then even the timers on these things. So, like I'm pretty sure T11s you know and I did put like. I didn't put a lot of effort into it, but I do have some subsidy training speed refines on the specific subgen. Um, it's at this moment in time, the only one I put some effort into because it's the, it's got the T11s, it's got a bigger timer than the rest. But, you know, even to say a 10 minute average, right? On eight, this is on T11s, you know, keep in mind that if I'm doing something that I don't want a gem, I gotta wait 10 minutes for these things to refill before I'm gonna get the benefit from the sub, the sub mayor, and you know the debuffs from the armor. So imagine having all 35 subsidies and you gotta wait like 15 or 18 minutes, whatever the timer is gonna be on that. You know, that's it forces you in a situation where you you have to spend a lot of gems. So keep in mind that the players that are like really rushing these 35 subsidies. You know, they're, you know, very serious corners, you know, one to have the resources to actually 35 all these. I mean, as you guys can see, there's a lot of, you know, speed ups that, you know, go into buildings, right? Like even like rally spot 61 days, you know, 48 days for 28 barracks. I mean, and these are the smaller ones, right? These aren't even the major like keeps and, you know, et cetera. So there's a big commitment. So would I moving forward invest in speed ups? to grow my subsidies to have let's say the benefit right the pros of having if you can maintain it right if you have no problem spending the gems and the speed ups to raise these up quickly the benefit is that you do have a more powerful march like you know to be able to hit say like 220 250 power in a march with you know the training capacity i have no idea what it is on k35 but let's say let's just say it's you know like an extra 1 million troops, right? Say 100,000 times nine and maybe a little bit higher than that. You got some refines for training capacity. 
but let's just say you got an extra, you know, 1 million T14s going into your march, that would be very, very effective. But again, on an attack loss, you're going to deplete those troops and it's going to cost you, you know, well over 100,000 gems, you know, probably a lot more than that just to get those back. So is it something that you can do like every SVS and every battlefield and all stars and, you know, red wing pushes, et cetera, the way that I play and how aggressive I am, that's not very realistic. I mean, I guess if you're just really laid back, you only defend, you're only joining rallies. You know, you're not somebody that's doing any type of solo play, then maybe that would fly. But if you're in a newer server or you don't have, like alliance mates that you know the environment or the atmosphere is not really targeted to doing a lot of you know alliance rallies and etc then this could really work against you because again you can put yourself in position where in order for you know to you to heal these things you know it's going to increase before any type of event that takes place i do i go through it okay these are my current subsidy you know training speed requirements i check my timer okay where am i at this is what the instant train cost is going to be um and then i go through all of them and i calculate like how many gems right so as an example you know it's like so that's twenty thousand. call it three thousand we're at 23 33 46 you got to write this down because this can get confusing 66 i'm probably missing one but we'll keep going 86 102 132,000 and 73 that's going to be 210,000 so ballpark right now if i get a few attack loss and all my subsidy troops are dead i'm looking at 210,000 gems for me to heal them and if i keep if i speed these bad boys up then that 210,000 is going to keep on skyrocketing so to me efficiency is more important using them more for the benefit of buffs and just being cost effective at this moment in time, I would not want the responsibility of having to, you know, manage T14s inside, you know, maybe having one would be cool, you know, just to have like one standalone, you know, 35 just for like some, you know, panache, you know, just to be, you know, baller. <laughs> but other than that, no, the way that I play, like the lower these are, the lower the gem cost is, the training speeds faster. Um, I've had a couple players that were like 2.5 billion that I zeroed. And there's been a couple of times where like I had to sit there and wait like three minutes on a timer to make sure that when I did attack that I had at least one troop in each subsidy. Because if you don't have these things in your sub, if you don't have sub troops, you're done. Like your march is gonna get wrecked. Like there's no coming back from that. And there is nothing worse, and I speak from experience, than sending off an attack march and looking at a report and going, oh man, like where are my subsidies? Where are my debuffs? Um, because it's a really ugly outcome. You can expect to just, be very sad. <laughs> so uh, these are this is just my feedback. Whenever you see like somebody that has 35 subsidies as cool as it is, like, you know, as flashy as it is, and as, uh, you know, oh, my God, I wish I could have that. The pros and cons to it, I'm going to give two thumbs down. Not good. Not It's too costly. I'm staying away from it. So, you know, hopefully this gives you guys some insight into the actual responsibility of having, you know, 35s, and I'm sure soon enough we'll have somebody on the channel that can, uh, you know, give us the exact values on, all right, I got 35 subsidies, you know, this is what it cost me in gems. I mean, by all means, if you, if you got the status to, you know, drop, you know, 2 million gems or wherever the cost may be to, you know, fully keep retraining these things and more power to you, God bless. Um, 
that's not how I'm rolling over here in Freedom Town. <laughs> I don't think 99.9% .9 of the player base, I don't believe is. So just keep that in mind. Um, I do see value in putting refines on Akamenide sets, not to buff them, you know, for attack and you know, defense and HP, but I do see the value in subsidy training speed because it's going to keep replenishing those troops faster. So like in between the attacks, there's a higher probability between your, your research, you know, the training speed that, you know, you're not going to find yourself in a situation where you got to wait 15 minutes, you know, or be forced to use gems, you know, before you can, you know, do your next attack. 